make sure your your controller is not off <laughs> so make sure you turn it turn it on this controller is a commercial controller but it has a lot of the same features as a residential your controller may look different but the basic programming is the same obviously we want to go to station watering time we recommend for station watering time on your on your spray type heads which is on most all of our residentials seven minutes as a, a starting point and we work down from there we don't ever increase the minutes there's reasons why we work down call me we'll come out and talk about it seven minutes after about seven minutes you begin to have a runoff going down the alley going down the sidewalks going down the street so start there if you have the big rotary type zones in the bigger backyards or something uh, we start with 12 minutes now set your watering time I mean your watering uh, station starting time or watering time and then go to your water station start times okay that's 4 a.m. in the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning, whatever time we need to do. Try to water where you can do your watering between like 4 and 8 a.m. <clears throat> if you water at night, 10 p.m., 12 a.m. even, 2 a.m. even, the longer that water sits on your grass, the more likely we could have some disease, fungal issues, especially on your St. Augustine grass. So water as late in the morning, but be finished as late in the morning as you can, preferably 8 to 9 o'clock so that water gets in the soil and then it dries up off the leaf blade okay so set your start time we're going to recommend two start times this time of year so once you put all your watering times together on each of your zones let's say it comes up to a total run time for all zones for one hour so set your start time for 4 a.m let it water through the cycle and soak in and then a second start time at 6 a.m and let it water through a cycle. Don't do a nighttime watering and a morning time watering. It defeats the purpose. All right, so set your, your zone times, seven minutes on your spray heads, 12 minutes on your rotors. Your watering start times, we're recommending two, two watering times right now. We may even go to three later in the summer. The next thing you'll see, you may have a master valve pump, but we're not gonna talk about that. You probably don't. Program overlap, you could have probably don't we can talk about that on site if we need to be your time calendar make sure your date make sure your time is correct the thing to always watch that I check three or four times is if it's 11 o'clock a.m. right now which I think it is make sure it's on a.m. if it's on p.m. you're gonna find that you're watering at the wrong time of the day all right so to make sure your times are set for a.m. p.m. check those event day off that's again a commercial controller you're probably not going to have that on your residential but you could it's basically saying if you're going to have a July 4th party you can go and turn July 4th off all right rain delay I usually don't use it on my residentials on my personal house which basically you can come up here and you can set the, the number of days you want it to not water after a rain three days is typically pretty good this time of year uh, if you want to use that, but you have to make sure you have a rain sensor as well on your home. Uh, and then you set your days. You may see something like this. You may have a digital display buttons that you use on your controller. Right now, in most of the cities that we're working in, McKinney, Frisco, Plano areas, it's two day. You get two days a week, which are your trash day and then three days after. Some cities are different. Richardson's a little bit different. It's the address, odd and even, have certain days. So check your website with your city to see what your watering days are. After you get to uh, watering days and get those set, <clears throat> again, you'll set your one or two days a week, two water cycles both of those days. You can do a custom fit. You can do an every other day. This is, this is the button you really don't need to worry about because we're doing a custom fit, Monday and Thursday watering, Tuesday and Friday watering, whatever that is. You can change this to water every other day or every third day or something like that if you want. Don't worry about it. Uh, that's, that's the even odd days I was just telling you about. Again, you may not see these features on your controller, and you may. Different ones have it. Water budget. This is really important. You may have this feature on your controller. It says 100%. That means if I'm setting my sprinkler zones, the areas to water for seven minutes, it's watering seven minutes. If I wanted to, which I never do, and I can give you more reasons why in another video, if you wanted to increase it, say double, you just mark that up to 200%. So instead of watering 7 minutes, you're watering 14. That may be okay, but all of your areas around the yard are not going to need a 
a, a markup like that. Some may need a couple extra minutes, some may need more, but we always usually go down, not up. All right. It all depends on your soil as to how we program that time. The next is the cycle and soak. You can set up that feature in here in your controller if you have it, but we've already done it by giving us two start times. That's called cycle and soak. We water, let it soak into the ground, come back and water again, let it soak in the ground. That's the idea behind it. That's going to give us that one inch of water in the ground that you hear about to force those roots down deep. So we've done that by setting our two cycle uh, start times for each zone. Uh, and then of course your test station if you want to do a test run on all your zones just set it on test station hit go and off it off it goes you don't have to go back and forth to your controller every time to change it that saves you a lot of time you can increase the minutes or decrease the minutes or whatever you want to do uh, to do your check uh, if you want to I would recommend doing it every Saturday if you have a cup of coffee and want to go out and hang out in the yard things can change literally overnight on your sprinkler system that can cause minor problems we love to come out. We recommend at least quarterly having us come out and do that uh, to fine tune the system. But check it more often than that. Uh, water budget. No, your manual watering, I'm sorry. If you want to turn on a zone, zone one, zone two, zone three, you've planted flowers or something and you want to go turn it on to water them in, just go up here, set the zone that you want to water, set the time that you want to water and let it go. If you have any questions, give us a call at Haynes Sprinkler and Drainage. We'll come out. We'll give first-time customers a free consultation on what we've just spoken about. Give me a call, 972-838-4444.